Thank you. You may be seated. Seated with me today are members of the official platform party that I'd like to introduce at this time and ask to stand. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been made. First, Ms. Keegan Holt, the student regent, the member of the Board of Regents, the Texas Tech University System, and ASU stu student. Mr. Ronnie D. Hawkins, Jr., President of Angelo State University. Dr. Clifton T. Jones, Vice Provost and Interim Vice President for Student Affairs. And the Deans of the Colleges, Dr. John E. Klingeman, the Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities, and Dr. Michael W. Salisbury, Dean of the Freshman College and Interim Dean for the College of Graduate Studies and Research. Also on the platform, Mr. Joe Munoz, Senior Executive Assistant to the President and ASU's General Counsel. Please join me in a round of applause for these individuals. At the heart of every great university is its faculty who guide and mentor their students. I'd like to ask all the members of our present faculty present today to please rise and be recognized. It's now my pleasure to introduce student region, Keegan Holt of the Texas Tech University System to bring welcoming, welcoming remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, proud parents, guardians, and supporters, and most of all, distinguished graduates and members of the class of 2021. On behalf of the Texas Tech University System, welcome. It is my distinct honor to represent the Board of Regents of the Texas Tech University System as the student regent at today's commencement and to share this wonderful occasion with you. Today, we celebrate the outstanding achievements of each of you. Your years of dedication and hard work is memorialized in this ceremony where we celebrate your accomplishments. Congratulations, you did it. And congratulations to your family and friends who helped you reach this point. Graduates, as a fellow member of the Ram Fam, I encourage you to cherish this moment. Look back at your memories at ASU with fondness, but look forward to your future with continued dedication and confidence, knowing that you have received a fine education from Angelo State University, and that your ASU education and the bonds formed here will serve you well in the years and decades ahead. While each of you will cross the stage today individually, your journey has not been a solitary one. Your teachers and professors have been there along the way, and your family has been there from the beginning. Be sure to thank them. Finally, remember your alma mater. ASU has helped, you sh helped shape you and your future. Now you will help shape ASU, and there is no better testament to a university than a success of its graduates. We welcome you as contributors to ASU's legacy and challenge you to continue living out our core values. In conclusion, please accept congratulations from the Board of Regents of the Texas Tech University System and our best wishes for your future. Thank you, Keegan. It's now my privilege and pleasure to introduce to you the 11th president of Angelo State University, Mr. Ronnie D. Hawkins, Jr. President Hawkins. Thank you, Dr. Topliff, to the Angelo State University Fall Class of 2021. You made it. My heartfelt congratulations to each of you for reaching this milestone in your journey of lifelong learning and to the parents, to the family, guardians, friends of the graduates sitting in front of us today, congratulations to you as well, and you're deserving of a hearty congratulations as well. You, you are the primary individuals who conjoled, encouraged, pushed, and pulled your particular student or students to get them to this point. Well, here they are, and you, you are as well, and you deserve a point in the spotlight right now. To the graduates, and should I say to the undergraduates as well, I'm not too sure whether this has been a two, four, six, or whatever combination of years for you to get to your diploma, get your diploma, 
and you have made it through the crucible of hard knocks with flying colors. We have been here together, if you will, for the last year and a half and have experienced and seen some situations that I am confident that you thought and I thought we would never see before. You have made it to the finish line. However, before, for the undergraduates, before you move your tassel from the right to the left, allow me an opportunity to share some thoughts you might not have pondered as of yet. You are about to cross the finish line when you walk across the stage in just a few moments, but there is another starting line just ahead of you or around the bend. Not only is there a starting line, there is another finishing line to, to cross. And I'm not sure how many starting and finishing lines are in your future, but I'm quite confident you have at least a couple, if not a dozen more, that you will come upon in your lifetime. So do not be surprised when you are back in the learning mode or perhaps even in the teaching mode. When you walk across the stage this afternoon, you will join the ranks of over 45,000 other individuals who call Angelo State University their alum, and they are the alumni of it. It is my hope you will continue to stay connected with your alma mater through the Angelo State Alumni Association. We are postured to do some great things here at ASU, and we can even do greater things and accomplishments when we have a strong alumni base. Again, there are more starting lines ahead that you will encounter. Take them on with confidence and courage. Remain connected to your alma mater through the Alumni Association. You are prepared and your time here at ASU has positioned you for greatness. Stay true to the core values you helped shape and codify here this past year. There's a slogan we have begun here using, and if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together and go as a ram. And off the script for just a moment, you're going to hear from Dr. Topliff in just a few moments that we're going to have you come through here, and he's going to have everybody's name announced, and he's going to ask that you please hold your applause to the last person. You don't have to do that. <laughs> More importantly, for the family, you ought to be able to show excitement as well as the students here, the graduates that are getting ready to cross the stage. We've had some people dance, and I can't get down on the floor because of a bad knee, but we've had some people dance. We've had some people celebrate. Have fun. This is your moment in the sun. Go Rams and Rambells. Thank you, President Hawkins. Before the awarding of the degrees, I'd like to recognize a group of undergraduate degree candidates whose outstanding academic performance has earned them special distinction. These are students who will graduate with the following academic honors. Cum laude, with a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.69. Magna cum laude, with a grade point average of 3.7 to 3.89. And summa cum laude, with a grade point average of 3.9 to a perfect 4.0. Would students with those honors please stand to be recognized? Thank you. Please be seated. We would also like to recognize students who have completed the graduation requirements for the Angelo State University Honors Program. Will those students graduating with high university honors please stand to be recognized? Thank you. We're now at the point in our ceremony where we will certify the candidates for degrees. So candidates for the master's degree, would you please stand and remain standing? <laughs> President Hawkins, on behalf of the faculty, the deans and I present the candidates for the master's degree. These candidates have fulfilled all of the requirements is set forth by the university, and we recommend that each be awarded the degree earned. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the Texas Tech University System, I hereby confer upon each of you and upon those graduating in absentia the appropriate degree. Thank you. You may be seated.
And now, candidates for the bachelor's degree in the College of Arts and Humanities, would you please stand and remain standing? <laughs> President Hawkins, on behalf of the faculty, the deans and I present the candidates for the bachelor's degrees. These candidates have fulfilled all of the requirements as set forth by the university, and we recommend that each be awarded the degree earned. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, Texas Tech University System, I hereby confer upon each of you and upon those graduating in absentia the appropriate degree. Please be seated. We'll now proceed with the individual awarding of diplomas. Faculty marshals, would you please now bring the graduates forth to be recognized. You know, Okay, here's the part that I've got to say because it's in the script. In order to keep the ceremony, <laughs> commencement ceremony progressing smoothly, please hold your applause until the last student has been recognized. And by the way, you have my full authority to ignore that instruction. Also, I'd like to call your attention to the professional photographer down front here who will take photographs of the candidates as they cross the stage where they will pause for a picture with the president. Dr. Mark Hamma, professor of English, will announce the graduates' names. The College of Graduate Studies and Research, presenting the master's candidates in the College of Arts and Humanities, is Dr. John E. Klingeman, Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities. Arthur Lewis Barclay, Jr., Phi Kappa Phi. James Keith Gettertz. George Nicholas Johnston, Phi Kappa Phi. Jonathan Anthony Nelson, Phi Kappa Phi. Alexa Nicole Newland, Phi Kappa Phi. Daisy Oyamuenusa Osakue. Lydia Nina Ramirez. Kyle Houston Smith. Please honor these graduates with a round of applause. <laughs> Michael Hernandez, summa cum laude. The College of Arts and Humanities, presenting the Applied Arts and Sciences candidates in the College of Arts and Humanities, is Dr. Johnny e. Klingeman, Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities. Jordan Wilson, summa cum laude. Please honor these graduates with a round of applause. <laughs> Presenting the Interdisciplinary Studies candidates in the College of Arts and Humanities is Dr. John E. Klingeman, Dean of the College of Arts and Humanities. Jennifer Guadalupe Anaya. <laughs> Jasmine Jade Casa.
Alejandro Chavez III. Marcel Armand Childress. Lindsay Taylor Cox. Deshaun Douglas. Kimberly Dyer. Anetie Anefiok Etok. Travis Dyer Feltz. Richard Ryan Gooch. Ainsley L. Hernandez. Donovan A. Jackson. Angel Ernesto Hasso II. Christopher James Kramer Morris. Reagan Michelle Lovelace. Leslie Ashford Mackey. Brittany Elizabeth Ann McKee. Scott Aiden Miller. Dora Ramirez Mensenmeyer. Shannon. Angelina Perez, summa cum laude, Alpha Chi. Brooke Nicole Pulig. Carolina Perez. Sydney Nicole Terhar, cum laude. Jabri I. Upton. Devin M. Washington. Please honor these graduates with a round of applause. Leading the Department of Communication and Mass Media is Dr. Leslie Y. Rodriguez, Department Representative. Sierra Adriana Battle. Jagan Bruton, High University Honors. Ann M. Flores. Lewis J. Johnson. Ali Ann Marsh. Marissa Martins. Carissa Marie McMillan.
Hai Lin Win. Michaela May Oliver, summa cum laude, Alpha Chi, Phi Kappa Phi. Chase Dylan Phelps. Robert Rigel, cum laude. Devin Robinson. Ginger Shea Smith. Tessa Danielle Urtego. Ashton B. Wade. Isaac Bernard Wilkerson, summa cum laude. Please honor these graduates with a round of applause. <laughs> Leading the Department of English and Modern Languages is Dr. Aaron Lee Ashworth King, Department Chair. Sung Young Bay, magna cum laude. Emily Fane Johnson. Hope Abigail Pierce. Mara Rose Ruthenbeck. Destiny Gail Sinclair. Yesul Song. Mackenzie Brianne Stewart. Please honor these graduates with a round of applause. <laughs> Leading the Ar Dr. Arnaldo de Leon Department of History is Dr. Jason E. Pierce, Department Chair. Caitlin Boatwright. Dalton Travis Boyd. Alfredo Fernandez. <laughs> Jalen Ty Helms, summa cum laude. <laughs> Hannah Faye Hill, summa cum laude, Alpha Chi, Phi Kappa Phi. Shayna Marie Lizio, cum laude. Congratulations. Jared Douglas McGuire, magna cum laude, high university honors. Chase H. McKeever, cum laude. Joshua Smith. Congratulations. Corbett Snow. Lucas P. Snow. Oscar Thomas Trevino. Please honor these graduates with a round of applause.
leading the Department of Political Science and Philosophy is Dr. Matthew J. Gritter, Department Chair. Sydney Page Allison, magna cum laude, Alpha Chi, Chi University Honors. Kristen Michelle Kilpatrick, cum laude. Please honor these graduates with a round of applause. <laughs> Leading in the Department of Security Studies and Criminal Justice is Dr. Joseph Rallo, Interim Department Chair. <laughs> Stefan Claude Agoma. <laughs> Branda G. Arispe. John Nathaniel Caesar, magna cum laude, Alpha Chi, Phi Kappa Phi. Matthew Elliot Carter. Zachary Michael Fergie. Chikendria Joyde Freeman. Keandra Noeli Garcia. Angelica Renee Garibaldi, cum laude. Connor Gregory Gray. Isabel Marie Guajardo. Abigail Hernandez. James T. Heileman. Caitlin Page King, magna cum laude, Phi Kappa Phi. Claire Catherine Lowry. Michaela Elizabeth Marquez, cum laude. Kelly Michelle Morganson. Miriam Ortega. Rosa Perez. Kevin Pisania, cum laude. Jacob Anthony Portillo. Emmanuel Rodriguez Patino. <laughs> Kathleen Rodriguez. Mario Adrian Sanchez, summa cum laude, Alpha Chi. <laughs> Melvin Shaw, Jr. Colton Brady Shelley, summa cum laude, Alpha Chi. Daniel Britt Shope, magna cum laude, Alpha Chi. Haley Denise Shows. Carrie Diana Streck, summa cum laude. Hope Tarango Ibarra. Sydney Joyce Farvalo, cum laude.
Garner Price Williams, cum laude. Morgan McLean Wilson. Brody Chase Yates. Please honor these graduates with a round of applause. <laughs> Leading the Department of Visual and Performing Arts is Mr. Christopher D. Stewart, Department Chair. Becca Margaret Butler. Hayden Duckworth. Caitlin Fisher, magna cum laude. Elise Flood, cum laude. Rachel Leanne Hill, magna cum laude. Ciara Leroy. Cesar Felipe Martinez. Jordan Tyler Parks. Joseph Mark Torres, magna cum laude. Victoria Yvonne Van Tool. And Landon David Ward. Please honor these graduates with a round of applause. First of all, I'd like to thank the audience for ignoring my instructions. You did a great job. And let's congratulate the Angelo State University class of 2021. Round of applause. I'd like to now introduce Ms. Kimberly Adams, the director of the ASU Alumni Association, to bring a special message to our latest graduates. Ms. Adams. Graduates, will you please stand? On behalf of the ASU Alumni Association, it is with great honor to ask the graduates of the class of 2021 to please move the tassel on your mortarboard from the right to the left as a symbol of your commencement at Angelo State University. If you have a class ring, you may now turn your ring to signify your status as alumni. I would like to ask all ASU alumni who are in the audience or on the platform to please stand and join our graduates. You may be seated. Today you begin a new role as a graduate and join our ASU alumni. You have now become an ambassador for this university. You become a member of an elite, prideful organization, the Angelo State University Alumni Association. Membership in the Alumni Association has its honors, its privileges, and its responsibilities. As alumni, you have a great responsibility of ensuring that ASU continues its upward growth by remaining close and getting involved. It was the enthusiasm of our alumni and the support of Bob and Jean Ann Legrand 
that built the LaGrand Alumni Visitor Center so that you would have a home to come back to campus. On behalf of the ASU Alumni Association, I congratulate you on your individual accomplishments and challenge each of you to stay connected with the Ram family as we continue the quest. Thank you and go Rams. I now invite the class of 2021, the platform party, the faculty, and all members of the audience to please stand and join in the singing of the alma mater led by Mr. Jesse Rios. The, word, the words are available on the back page of your program, and if your eyesight is real good, they're also posted up here to my right. Thank you. Members of the audience, if you would please be seated and remain seated for the recessional of the platform party, the faculty, and the graduates. And in order to continue sharing this experience with your family and friends, we encourage you students to take photos and invite you to spend time on campus. Congratulations, class of 2021. Our graduation ceremony is hereby concluded. <laughs> 